Welcome back to Sailing Catalpa. Here's what's coming up. All right, guys, what's going on over here? There must be a couple of hundred dolphins and everyone is frothing. They're in the water just swimming. Well, we've been rafted up with our friends and the boys just went to retrieve the stern anchor. It was so deep in the sand. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We arrived back at an anchorage we've been before, but this time we are rafting up with our mates on Night Runner. There's no better feeling than being at a picturesque anchorage with plenty to explore and even better when we're with friends. All right, guys, what's going on over here? Look at these people. Even the bubba has gone tribal. It's the Coco tribe. Coco. She's our leader. Coco. <laughs> she can see herself now. <laughs> the fam's gone tribal over there. What have we got going on over here? Oh my God, what's she preparing for dinner? <laughs> we are trying to preserve this shell ah. that Rio found. It's a dirty your job. <laughs> your busy, busy. Really so I think Memo's helped out the local fishermen with some some rubber for their slings. Let's have a look. This is what they use to get their crays, the spears, and the little hooker set up off the front of the boat. Just local fishermen. Some charcoal from someone's fire turns into tattoos and beach artwork. How cute is little Coco? She loved her new tattoos. This was so sad. Oh, there's a blizzard. <laughs> Rio found this on the beach. And look at its little head. It's <laughs> and its little hand. It's like, ah! We think it got run over by a boat, right? Yeah, because it had broken bones. It's broken here. Yeah. These guys were broken. Worm. <laughs> I'm a dying worm. After Memo helped out the local fishermen, they were kind enough to gift him some crayfish or lobsters and scallops. So that night we had seafood pizza for dinner. The lobsters on the pizza were the best. I'm not a fan of scallops, but everyone else liked them. Thank you. 
The next morning we were keen to get amongst the day and explore. The cliffs here are perfect for climbing, so most of the day was spent rock climbing and jumping off into the water. Honey, you've outdone yourself. The captains have been slaving away in the kitchen while we're just hanging up here. <laughs> and this is what they bring out. Oh, how lucky are we? Yeah, super lucky. <laughs> We'd go back to the boats for food and to chill, but most of our time here, we we're out about in the dinghies, on the beach, or under the water. All right, so Rio, Bella, or Bella's half in the boat. Rio's up the front of the boat and all the guys are in the back of the water out there they're all getting towed along on a ski rope and there is dolphins everywhere have a look at this Must be a couple of hundred dolphins and everyone is frothing, they're in the water just swimming, they're all underneath. So let them... The hardest part is getting Sarah back in the boat when there's a thousand dolphins around. Alright, so it's been a five minute fight ladies and gentlemen, what has he got? What do you reckon Rio, is it a keeper? Oh, and because Lindsay stayed with Coco the first time, she missed out on swimming with the dolphins. So us girls jumped in the dinghy, hoping they were still frolicking about. They were. We jumped in and they were so curious. They kept coming in and checking us out. It really was a magical experience. <laughs>
It's one thing being out here living our dream life. And it's even better when we meet incredible people. Our time with this beautiful family has been so fun. Another day hanging on the beach, watching the sun go down. Tonight's dinner menu was panko crumbed fish and a delicious dish made by Lindsay. Dessert we made our sticky date puddings and we didn't realise that sticky date was an Australian thing. These guys had never had it so we had to give a call to the queen of sticky date herself, Tara from Nalakai, to get the recipe. First time in We ended up having a great night. All right, guys, I'm just gonna interrupt paradise just for one moment. We love mud water, as you guys know. We have introduced this coffee alternative into our lifestyle and we absolutely love it. And we wouldn't keep going on about it if we didn't. Mud water is a coffee alternative and they are all about healthy habits and introducing them into people's lives. I love the brand, I love the company. We partnered with them because of what they are about. They're into mental health and looking after our bodies. And for me, that is really, really important for us as we travel the world on our sailboat. Mudwater is full of medicinal mushrooms. All the ingredients are organic and everything in it is healthy. There is no hidden nasties and I love that about the company. Thanks for sponsoring this video. Thanks for believing in our dream. If you also would like to try Mudwater, all of the information is in the bio and there is a link on the screen. All right, let's get back to paradise and this is how we woke up every morning and it made it very hard to leave. This is where we'll part ways with Night Runner. So each day, we would always end up saying, just one more day. Today's excuse was to clean the bottom of the boats. Cleaning the bottom of the boat means jumping in the water with a mask and fins. Sometimes we use dive tanks, but today we are free diving. The purpose is to get all the growth off, like barnacles and things that grow under the water, so we can go faster when we're sailing. Having growth on the bottom can slow you down a knot or two, which doesn't sound like much, but it can be the difference in getting to an anchorage before dark, so a clean bottom is optimal for sailing. Another gorgeous end to another beautiful day and this would be our last sunset together for a little while. It's always hard to watch the people you love go in another direction but it's never goodbye, always see you later. Just uh, leaving this anchorage where we've been rafted up with our friends and the boys just went to retrieve the stern anchor because they put a stern anchor out and it was so deep in the sand. We just had to get our, our uh, Smacko dive tanks and go down and dig it out. It was so deep down, but these little tanks are so handy for stuff like that because we were trying to free dive it to start with and we probably could have done it eventually, but it was going to take way longer. So these anchors work really well. The boys are still pulling it up, I think. So we put a stern anchor out because we are a little bit close to the rocks out here and there is some reef just here. Um, so yeah, it held us really well and obviously dug right into the sand. We weren't going anywhere. Have a look at the size of this anchor. It, uh, 
and it was completely disappeared. All you could see was like the, the top bar. Look at the size of it. <laughs> It's huge! She's had like 30 tons swinging off and uh, she was deep. <laughs> it was yeah, deep. Well, something from going into the rocks and um, yeah, I think you've got to do it. Yeah. Now we can make some ceviche. <laughs> now we're staying another week, hey Memo? <laughs> For forever. There's no hurricane, they say that there is. We don't believe we haven't it. haven't seen them yet. We did see a few drops of rain, I don't know Probably if that's a sign. Uh, thanks Memo. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> that was a mission! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, my dinky dink. Without engine. <laughs> You're like, and I was like, oh, it's okay guys, I got it, I'll pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna fly. <laughs> Are we staying or going? <laughs> We pulled our anchor as well and headed north. Join us next week as our adventure in the Sea of Cortez continues.